I would like to welcome you here today as we celebrate the union of this beautiful couple. Abby and I, my wife, have had the privilege of uh, serving on a team with them on the other side of the world in Italy, and so we have gotten to know them in the deepest ways, and uh, we've gotten to see their relationship start from team members to budding feelings to other budding feelings to finally it all coming together, and here we are today. It's truly an honor to be here. I got to meet Sante. Uh, through a uh, campus ministry called Crew, and he is one of the most impactful people in my life. He's a good friend. You can depend on him. He can also depend on you. He's not too prideful or afraid to share the stuff that's going on in his life, and that's the kind of stuff that will make marriage last for a long time. She is compassionate. She's funny. actually just act silly together and have fun. However, what I love even more is that you know how to kindly tell me when my jokes are getting a little too much. Uh, and uh, I, I love that I found a safe place in you. I've always feared opening up my heart to someone, to, to trust them with it and share my deepest fears and dreams. But it wasn't the case with you. I felt excited. says we do not want merely to see beauty we want something else which can hardly be put into words to be united with the beauty we see to pass into it to receive it into ourselves to bathe in it to become part of it there's something about you Santa a beauty of heart and character that makes me long to be united to you the way that you look at the ocean or the stars means that somehow you can be united to them and keep them with you where we go marriage is a gift from God and marrying you is truly the second greatest gift God has ever given me, second only to His Son, Jesus Christ. And now I'm excited that you are the one that gets to enter into this gift with, united not only to each other, but to the beauty itself. Santa, do you take Amanda to be your wedded wife, to live together in marriage? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, serve her, and honor, and keep her for better? or for worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to her for as long as you both shall live. I do. Amanda, do you take Sante to be your wedded husband, to live together in marriage? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor, and keep him for better or for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, be faithful only to him so long as you both shall live? I do. So it is with great joy that I present to you, before God and these witnesses, Mr. and Mrs. Di Leonardo Sante, you may kiss your bride.
So, one of my favorite things about Santa is anytime we plan to do something remotely special together, it turns into chaos. <laughs> the way we, we became friends was I came back from my first trip to Tanzania and I didn't know Amanda all that well. We just spent, just spent a few weeks traveling. And when I came back, she was like, oh man, I really missed you. Like, I'm so glad you're back. And I was taken around and I was like, wow, that, that's, that's really vulnerable of her to say that. She likes me, so I guess I like her too. <laughs> So what did he do? Well, he accidentally broke into a police precinct and had an officer meet him and let him know that he should not be in this restricted area. <laughs> but this is the thing that I love about Tom. Uh, even though he is oblivious to massive signs that say no trespassing, <laughs> uh, we always end up creating these beautiful moments together. Oh damn it, husband! Just kidding. <laughs> 